Anyone who has worked in a large corporation can imagine exactly what it was like this morning when everybody's phone and email buzzed with the letter and email of resignation from our CEO, Jeff Zucker. It came completely out of the blue. Jeff Zucker is leaving CNN after he failed to disclose a consensual relationship with a senior colleague, the network's chief marketing officer. Zucker's departure is an absolute bombshell, not least of which for the daily, everyday stuff of being working here, the staff, me and my colleagues, but for CNN itself, a crucial time for the network. Firstly, it follows a high-profile firing of Chris Cuomo, the primetime anchor. And then there's the fact that CNN's parent company, Warner Media, is navigating a massive merger into discovery from AT&T. And we heard about that yesterday when we talked about the spin-off. At the same time, hundreds of millions are being spent on a huge bet on CNN Plus, our new streaming service, which should launch in a couple of weeks, a few weeks. Brian Stelter is our chief media correspondent. Brian, what was it like when, when the email dropped? I think all work stopped for a few minutes as everyone processed the yep. news, uh, Richard. And as you said, anybody in any corporate environment can relate to this on a number of levels. First, uh, Zucker's been the rock of CNN, a larger-than-life leader. Uh, second, he's resigning not in a few weeks or in a few months, but effective immediately. I'm told he wanted to stay longer, but Warner Media said no. Here's the, the thrust of his statement saying uh, that, he, that he put out explaining this, saying, as part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I've worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years, but I was, I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong, and as a result, I'm resigning today. So he's saying because he violated the personal relationships at work part of the code of conduct that we all as employees agreed to, he has resigned. Right. Now, as you mentioned, Alison Gullist is the executive he didn't name in his memo, in his statement. Alison Gullist, the chief marketing officer, also issued a, a statement today saying, Jeff and I have been close friends and professional colleagues and partners for over 20 years. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID. I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. Uh, she indicates in the statement that she will remain at CNN. Uh, but both of these executives saying they didn't disclose the relationship when they were supposed to, and that is what's caused this shocking resignation. How much trouble, and, and, and I, let, me, let me make it clear, I'm asking you exactly the same questions as I would ask any, on any other story uh, like this, as, as uh, we, we always do, of course. How much trouble is CNN in losing Zucker at a time when CNN Plus is about to launch, which is the biggest bet the company has made for years? I would argue the biggest bet since the invention of CNN back in 1980. And yet, because this brand has been so strong for many decades, or so many decades, uh, I believe it is so much bigger than any single individual. You know, at CNN, as at other newsrooms, you play for the front of the jersey. You play for the team, not for any individual. Zucker did inspire incredible um, uh, loyalty among anchors, among reporters. And so th it is a major loss uh, for him to be leaving and to be leaving so suddenly. It is absolutely a blow to CNN. Uh, but frankly, I look around here, Richard, I see everything continuing because the news never stops. There are two big holes, though. As you mentioned, CNN Plus is one of them. It launches pretty soon. There's also the 9 p.m. Eastern time hour on CNN, on the United States uh, version of CNN, you know, is wide open uh, because Cuomo was fired. Think about the, the domino effect here. Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, goes down. Chris Cuomo, the CNN anchor, gets fired for improperly advising his brother. Now Jeff Zucker loses his job essentially because of the Cuomo scandal, an incredible domino effect that we've seen in the past few months. It makes the morning show TV drama look almost pedestrian in comparison to what to real life here. And as you know, I consult on that show, so I guess yeah. they're going to be asking me some questions about this. But I can tell you the scramble internally today, the head yep. of Warner Media, Jason Kylar, flying to New York uh, to oversee this transition now. He's heading to DC and Atlanta. You have a lot of pieces in motion because along with that streaming service launch, you also have AT&T spinning off CNN yep. and the rest of Warner Media and merging right. it with Discovery in the months to come. People thought Zucker was in line for a big promotion. Instead, he has resigned effective immediately and he did want to stay on longer. Warner Media said no. So this is not um. This is not one of those, you know, uh, mutual agreements where everyone's parting ways happily. There's definitely some animosity here, Richard. 
I'm putting your name forward for 9 p.m. Thank you. Um, uh, Brian Zelter, thank you very much.